Well, hello everyone and welcome yourselves back in to the wonderful world. Lonzi's Liberators in New World. I hope you're all well. Let's go back in. You can see where we're at. So in the last episode, we did start to get up some serious smelting. We've got quite a bit going. So we started getting a fair bit of copper ore. And we started getting set up on the world map as well. You'll now see that uh, there's certain things changing. So as the game goes through its new, the uh, process of pre-release there are a couple of occasional updates and there'll be things that show up as well um in this one though i'm just going to change that to wood we're still working on getting a huge surplus of stuff so we've got a fair bit mushrooms look good meat looks good but we're in the fourth year and we're about to go into the winter period as you can see we got our first farm so we are producing what its building's been operational yep we are producing well it should be a uh, 100 and 75 per 48 hours is base production but they're not as efficient as we would like now water we have a, a really really good pr production now um, development completed as well so we were finishing off the smelter in here so if we go across into our tier we have smelting we've got this now i want to get the bricks and get this divided layers because the sand glass and housing is going to be massive massive help here but also we could go ahead and grab this better storehouse which i'm going to do we can start stockpiling and then we'll go into switches and circuits once we've got the copper ore so as far as production goes obviously as i said we can go into the copper ingots now over here so i'm going to go ahead and get three people straight in there and we can get that one turned on we're going to start just producing four per day and what that does mean is within i think it's inside of the forge we'll be able to do the wire eventually all right, so with that ticking over a little bit there, you'll see we've got six ingots here. So we're going to gear up and be able to grab these. We By the time this one finishes, we should have enough for the switches and circuits and all of this. So there is a lot that obviously we need to consider. We need more paper. We need more paper for that one as well and a lot of bricks. So we're working on bricks. Let's get the paper going again then. So actually, paper, we've got five. Are we... What What is going on here? Why are we not getting stuff in? We are... Just took a little time to reset so when you first get back into the game i've noticed some things do take a little a little second to kind of get going again but we are fine we're only just in surplus on food though so actually four and four it might be time to get a third cookhouse in so i'm just going to go back in another soup kitchen here uh i'm trying to think where best to put it and actually i want to keep that for clothing there's no harm in having it over this side i don't think the smelters will be coming any further so let's get another one there and we can go into the fish with that one and also in the meantime, I'm going to ramp up a little bit more electronics, electrics here. So I'm going to keep the windmills coming. I'm going to go ahead and put some more over this side. So this farm is kind of, there's a lot here, but I think it makes sense to keep coming this way. I might even go this side. Not as efficient though. I think where's better? They're getting a bit naff over there. Over here is pretty okay. As long as we can get a base... 30 it's not too bad all right over here makes a lot more sense then so let's actually go as far over as we can here let's get three more in there that should keep us a good amount all right so if we look here three workers in here actually consumes almost double the amount of copper we're producing so over here what we're going to need there's the storehouse as well we're going to need to pump up workers in here where we can and at the moment we don't have enough so we could do with potentially knocking some down now, we're okay for bricks and clay. I think if we go three and two, because we can't go down to one there, we may even be able to take one or two out of there. And then we put them in here. I think we should be able to balance that out a little bit better. And we've got a good little surplus to keep us ahead anyway. And we've got one more worker I can actually put in there, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's 34 per day. Consumption 35. That will change. So something going on in the world map, I think, is our scout. Let's go check out a new place here. So let's go to that one. We're going to uncover the valley and hopefully get some more people coming in. Because at the moment we're almost there on the next tier. 120, so it won't be that far away. But we've got a little one here that we need to hit. And we've got no children either. All right, if I hover over as well, our clothing consumption and production is identical. So we will need to look at that soon as well. And our next kitchen has been done. So this will always be... We could go vegetable stew actually. And then when we've got someone in, I'll pop them in there as well. Oh, reach match storage limits, a uh, reached max storage limit for vegetables. So actually, we don't have anyone spare here. We may as well start cooking them. 
And what I think I can get away with is the mushrooms. Let's go down and let's start ramping up using these vegetables because we've actually got freebies there then for food permanently during this season. So we can actually go ahead and make sure that they are getting some more in. Now we're going to take a hit on water reserves as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure we get another well in somewhere we haven't got one. Um, I think... We don't have one over here, so one over here would potentially be a good idea as well. So let's get that one going. All right, so the scouts arrived as well. So barren land, let's move on. Nothing there, unfortunately. So we'll have to go to another one in the valley. This is a bit naff if we don't find anything. All right, so research them. We can either go into switches and circuits. I do kind of want the guardhouse to make them a little bit happier and accesses larger water sources from deeper underground. I think we probably need to look at getting that. Crop rotation, yeah, that would be good eventually, but I don't think it's necessary. The next house up would be good as well. But yeah, let's go switches and circuits. We've just upped our power ready for it as well, haven't we? Ah, this place is looking pretty big, though. Let's just uh, take a look around. Look at this. And pretty epic, I would say. All right, there's the water pump, the guardhouse, and the wire. So straight away, I'm actually going to go ahead and get a guardhouse. And you want to be able to hit the housing here. And I think... Ooh. Right, so we're going to have a little bit of overlap. Let's see. If I go there and there, that might be pretty good. Although, in there, that one house over there. But this is going to be good if we put houses over here. We'll start with that. What have we got here? A group of travelers as well. We'll definitely accept those guys in. So we'll get five more. Okay, this is good. That means I can get one more in there. I can also get one more in the mine, I think. Although we do need to produce... Actually, that's level, so I'm not going to touch that. We need to produce wire over here. We're going to say wire, and we're going to get... What does that take? Copper ingot as well. I reckon we can get away with just a couple of people in there. We'll slowly start to produce wire, and then we'll work on that one. All right, something is approaching. Oh, God. Chief, these sounds can only come from a machine. Could our ears be deceiving us? Let's calm down and see what's going on. Oh, God. Is this like the automatons in Frostpunk? Oh, it's a ship. All right. This is officially the furthest I've ever gotten the game, by the way. So, let's go see. Everything is on schedule. We've got the population done. That's fine. And there is a ship coming over, so I don't know what that's for. We really need to make sure we are good on everything. Then we really need to ramp everything up. So with that one now completed, let's go into this one. So we've got the paper for it as well. And let's try and get the next level set up here. So I need to figure out where the glass was done. That's over here, right? Yeah, perfect. So we could flip this one over if need be. The extra population, we still need to make sure food is good. I'm so concerned. But after we get back, it should replenish. Hunters are good. Let's make sure we're good everywhere else. All right, literally nothing in that one. We could probably do with getting another one in. Is there no resources over here either? So food is really taking a bit of a nosedive. I should replenish. What is this? Uninvited guests. I come on behalf of the Confederation of Autonomous City States. My name, my name is Senior Colonel J. Hamilton, commander of a 13th squadron. I extend my greetings to you. I demand a meeting with the leader of this community. You may speak freely. Let me guess. Chief Captain or Mayor. Okay. On the way home, we have an unfortunate series of events. We lost one of our engines of Violent Storm the last two weeks straight. Uh, we're glad you did not incur any serious losses. As always, guys, if you want to read, just pause it up. I'll briefly just skim over. I don't want to salt you if you like to have a read as well. All right. Think hard about your answer. So, unfortunately, we seem to only be a bunch of stragglers. Therefore, without further ado, request your support for a quick repair. Right. We will provide the necessary assistance. Painful but sensible choice. That is a lot. Labor theft. Minus 20. I don't see any reason. A risky option considering you know very little about them. Leave and take your broken ship with you. Um, Chief, these people have a working warship. We can't even produce steel yet. Is such bravado necessary? Oh, God. I f the fact that I, we pretty much have everything, right? We've got plenty of iron and tools to give. It's just the food. So we'll be short on meals, but we've got enough prep. So I'm going to say yes, then. That's okay. Um, and we'll just have to start producing the meat again. We're unfortunately a little bit naff on some of these, so that one no longer produces wood. I'm going to go ahead and grab out a gathering camp here and see if there's any other we can do. So that one's not reaching that meat pile. Got a wood camp there. 
We're not doing these ones up here, in all fairness. I think I can get all three. It's not showing. You need to kind of be good position away, I reckon, there. Let's get one there, then, and let's go and get our dusty road in. Just to there. I think that one should help. All right, scouts arrived at province. Looks like we have found something. Huge mineral deposit. Let's see what it gets. Go out to the world map. Okay, that looks like it might be iron. Is she idle at province? Okay, so we can send that one then. Looks like we're we're doing some discovery there. The world map gives us so much to like kind of play with. So I've just checked and the security towers, in fact, they take wire. So what is this one doing? It's been operational. You actually need... Are we running out of copper? What's the issue here? Can you guys just create for me right now? I need the wire. There we go. It's a bit slow. You actually need a certain amount of work. It's a shame we can't put the... Um, the specialist guys in there but yeah these guard houses actually need wire but they're going to help massively when we get them in for our our housing estates and then if you look here just to upgrade them it's seven glass and 12 wire so what we will need is a couple more of these which again we're going to have to manually kind of flip between the two but i am going to go ahead and make sure we have them ready is that the right thing so I'm kind of think I would like to squeeze one more there. We can change these roads to go around that. That's fine. If I do that and then we just bring the road kind of through like that, that should be okay. And then I'll go ahead and destroy these guys. That little thing there can stay for now. And then I'll go ahead and get another one in here. Just to connect that back up. I think that makes sense. That's going to be our first glass one there. And then as far as utilities go, we do have the tier 2 storehouse now, which also takes wire. I would like to get one of these in, though. I would really like to get one of these in, because they're actually huge. And uh, we need to basically stockpile as much as we can. There's no, no requirement for where it kind of needs to be, actually. And as we cut down wood over here, it might make sense to start utilizing this area. Let's go there. That needs wire as well. It's probably not the smartest, but it is what it is. And I'm just going to turn on the maintenance building as well that is here. You can see it. It's kind of disappeared, but it is coming. And there's our sand, our glass, and our resident houses now as well. So this one will become sand. Let's see if we've got the paper for the next one to at least have it done. That requires 1,200 paper. That one requires 125. So that's going to be our last one for this. That's absolutely fine. What do we have here? Labor theft. We did not consent to this work. No good will come of it. So yeah, they're pretty, pretty unhappy actually. Is this place still not operational? Right, it's just starting to become operational again now. We're kind of using everything up at the moment. I'm uh, just looking, and I think, even though everything's expired, when we, so we're in the summer, it's been a bit of a naff one, but we are going to get renewal rate of resources for next spring, so we just need to get through to spring, and we should be fine. Message from Scout as well. Is that another... Ah, potential water source. Okay, so that's not too bad over here. So we've got potential of water and potential of thingy over here. It looks like we're pretty much done there. So I am going to go ahead to the highlands here, which is going to take nine days. But yeah, we're, we're producing more water than we're consuming. Meat did kind of replenish. Did it replenish? I don't think we got a replenishment at all. So we got a pretty naff one. Yeah, we've just got to make it through to spring here. I think we'll be fine, though. We're, we're, produ we're not producing enough food, though, which is a bit of a problem. Not sure why that won't produce. Ah, their efficiency is really far down, so the workforce is minus 10 look, based on the labor theft. So once this goes, everything should be back up. I was wondering why they're not producing, actually, and that's why. All right, stable routes has been completed, though, so we can get rid of that one. Maintenance building has been completed. There it is. Let's take a look at you. I like the design of the buildings, man. I think they've done a great job on them. I really, really do. All right, uh, guard house. So these guys will just go out and do stuff if we assign to it, right? That's like their main thing. All right, we've just got things back. So solid progress, 35 morale to all classes. So we're going to have a really good morale boost for work then really, really soon. I could do with some more children, which we have actually. So there's six there. Maybe an emigration would be nice. Yeah, see that efficiency has affected my clothing so bad. I think we could reduce an iron ingot station down by one. I'm just seeing if we need. Copper's okay at the moment. I might do that and see if we can get one more in the uh, soup kitchen here just to start to produce because those meals have gone down drastically. This is almost gone though, so that should be fine. Um, building construction times extended, no maintenance workforce. Okay, I can get a couple of workers in there. How's that? 
We just need a couple, uh, sorry, not workers. That, that was the uh, craftsman. We could change the distribution. I don't know if I'm giving them more, so it's regular of everything. I don't want to because of illness. And it gets really bad on illness as well. All right, scouts finally got to the highlands as well. So we got potential for log, iron ore, meat, and water. Okay, it's reassuring. So we'll start by going to these and kind of checking them out. I will build a scout tower there when I can. What do we have here? Minus 20 health. Farms cannot produce mushroom gathering halted. We don't have any anyway. So we're even lower on that. So we just need to get through. This should go before then though. Yeah, we're going to struggle on food, right? So I'm going to make the executive decision to reduce them down to medium. Just for now, we're okay on water. I'm going to do the same for these guys. So we're going to say medium. So they're not going to be happy with it, but we're going to have to. We're at least producing again. Um, their efficiency has gone up and we've got plenty of leaks in stock, I think. Yep, so we weren't allowing any to be stored, actually. So what we need to do is obviously up vegetables as well. They've gone down pretty quick. I'll allow it there, too. And we've got another one going in there as well. That storehouse will be done. Going on here. Oh, production of those has, has gone downhill as well. But that's okay. We are fine. Is our paper still producing? Just about. Yeah, the paper's only on 688. Wow, that really does affect you. So we're either, are we going to be out of labor theft or winter first? Hopefully we can keep, right, what's this? Maintenance status, perfect. Perfect maintenance. All right. All right, they've arrived at the province as well. I'm going to be just pottering between the two at the moment. Coal rich land, that is a great start. What is next? We want a province with loads that we can kind of make a second home. We've almost finished the unending preparation as well. All right, I can see spring, so we should get a great replenishment. So yeah, we're gonna the next year then we're gonna focus on pure stockpiling of everything. We're uh, we're officially pretty much out of clothes as well. I might turn that down in a moment. We're ticking up on the food though, so I can change that in a moment. I think what we need is to flip these. I think they're all going 19, 7, 19. There at the province again as well log source okay that is great so we've got two of two so far on this province good stuff and we've got rid of that one now so production values there you go 54 per day 37 per day and 54 per day thank god for that so i should be able to put them back now i'm going to allow them back to regular because actually they're going to come they'll come unhealthy You'll see the uh, the little plus sign that was there, meaning they, they could potentially die as well. And then children should grow up. And we're about to replenish anyway. So the numbers should be all right. I should see this change. There we go. Plenty of available resource. So what I'm going to do for this period is make sure that we kind of flip them out now. So instead of the meals in these guys, we want to be able to stockpile. So I'm going to get one in there. And then I'm going to make sure the other ones have everything as well. And there's the report. Okay, they renewed by 82%, so not too bad. What do we have here? So we've got a bunch of meat and stuff over here. The meat's going well there. We just need more of these guys. So we need these guys to hurry up and kind of grow up, really. And I think I'm going to reduce the wire down by one. And then I'm going to put that over here to gather some mushrooms as well. And it's worth noting that the next kiln has been done for the glass, and that does take sand, which will need another one of these. So we're going to need one more pit, which is a problem, actually. Kind of annoying. Right, let's go here, and we'll get another dusty road across to that. But again, we can reduce paper down, actually, so I'm going to do a bit of balancing here. And let's go down by two on there. Let's go down by two on the paper. And we'll be able to, now with four workers, hopefully get these going. So I'm going to have to ramp up these guys in here. Then I think we can go ahead and connect the road through here let's just put it there for now all right scout arrived again let's hope for another good one potential water source okay but i think this top one if it doesn't change throughout the campaign this is the place to go it looks like let's have a quick check in then so logs are looking good stones good iron's very good i might be able to save some workers from that potentially we're going to need to build another iron mine at some point though yeah i'm going to take that down to two and I'm going to bin off those now. There's no more wood there. That's good. So that means that's still okay, though. I'm just going to speed it up till this one's done. And we're going to start getting sand here. And then I can see wire now. We're looking a little bit more comfortable. Clothing's coming in. We need more power. Oh, God. 
Um, right, let's see what we can do then. So this whole area over here is fantastic, actually. Let's kind of get these connected up. Probably the best we can do there, and then I'll just bring this along here. And we'll get a whole bunch more power in as well. Okay, if you look down here, there's this little projected renewal rate of resources for next spring. There's an extreme drought coming, so we actually do need to get surplus of everything going, don't we? Oh, wow. Okay, so let's get meals on the go. So we can change this one back to mushroom. Get those guys going. Get an extra person in there, and let's get an extra person in there. Let's, get, let's make use of all this. And then the scout has arrived. I'm not going to send the scout to much more. Meat makes us resilient, so that was a really good one. We had everything over there. And here's the pit. So we're going to go sand. No power, no workforce. So we will have power. I'm going to get five in there to start with. And then we've got one, maybe four. Probably get away with taking a couple out of the clay. Let's go five. And then we'll get a couple of workers in there as well. Let's see if that's balanced when the power comes in, obviously. They're all under construction. Boom, there we go. Huge wind farm now. And we should have some really good production. Let's see. So 55 per day on the sand. I don't see sand up here. It's a shame we can't add things to this wheel. I would love that. Oh, maybe you can. Select the material you want to place in the selected slot. Oh, no way. Okay. You can. So if you right-click it... So let's see. What do we want to right-click here, then? Well, things we're not necessarily producing yet, we can kind of add to it. I would love to add things to it. Like electrics, it tells us anyway, maybe. So, Or it looks like you can't change the top ones. So let's go sand and let's get rid of crude oil as well. Let's put glass in over there so we can kind of see that they're, they're the good ones. And then the leaks, hopefully we can start the uh, production of those. They've come back in and we got our first bit of glass coming in. Nice. Right, let's see if we can do the next research now. And we can. So we're going to... Oh no, we need tools. What happened there? Uh, we sent them all over, didn't we? For the blinking ship. That's where all our veg is going as well. Okay. How's our meals looking? Okay, we're producing a lot though, so we're going to survive off the mushrooms for now. I'm wondering if I can remove some bricks again as well. Still okay with clay. I might be able to take that down one more and then get another one on there. Let's get loads of mushrooms on the go. And we're good on the sand as well, so I reckon... No, we're going to need the five in there. And then the glass is coming in now. Beautiful. So the glass is going to go straight into uh, other things which is this one here. And then we just need the bronze ingots for that current objective. But I'm not going to touch that just yet. As you can see, the guard towers are in now. That's good. Now we can officially upgrade these, right? So I might start from the outside in and let's get one upgraded next here. Uses. So I'm wondering if it gives kind of better stats. That's what I want to see. It might give them better health. As you can see, their health has gone up though. We need to kind of get that up. I'm also going to see, so we unlocked the water pump, right? That's bronze ingots, but let's take a look at where we can kind of do this. You need the rich sources, right? Okay, so over here, it tells me that we could pump from over here. So, uh, it looks like deep water sources are different ones, so they're just completely different. So, actually, putting one over here is, like, perfect. I'm going to set that there. I, mean, I know we don't have the, the bronze ingots for it, but we can produce them inside of the smelter here. So next up is going to be this smelter. And I think it fits. I might just put it there because we. it looks like we can fit two in there. That's, oh my god, what was that? A sad day for all of us, Chief. We're no strangers to death, but this is the first time we've encountered it since we settled here. Lewis Duncan died due to catastrophe. He just got struck by lightning, I think. You rat. Wow. But not a lot you can do about that. <laughs> we'll replace it anyway. And we got plenty of glass now. Let's check in on our first... Oh, there it is. The first upgraded house. There's no one living in it. Okay. Are they moving around when they're kind of done? I think they are. Although we might need to get some more houses now. We're at that point. There's a couple of spaces still. Let's get that one upgraded as well then. And let's speed it up. Yeah, so they're moving into this one. So if I go on to those guys, are they just healthier? Minus 20 here. What just happened? Distribution's good. I think it was a disaster. Yeah, it was. As far as the deep water pump goes, I'm not sure whether we need to... Uh, I'm not sure what this means here. It's telling me there's an issue, but... No, it's fine. It's just bugged. 
The smoke thickens. Oh, we got some strangers. We'll grab those first because that's going to be really, really handy. <laughs> and uh, I could probably go ahead and make sure every kitchen is good. Now, do we have... Well, first of all, let's get rid of that one and let's put in vegetables. And then let's just see. I don't think that's producing based on the summer. Oh, it is producing. Nice. And then let's check out this uh, the disaster here. The smoke thickens. The air is burning our throats. The sky is reddening. What are we to do? We need to remain calm. Oh, God. What is going on? Provide 45 bronze ingots. So they're just going to disappear as soon as we get them in as well, right? All right, here we go. We're going to say bronze ingots, and it takes just workers? All right. So maybe we do an upgrade or two. Let's... Not enough basic tools. All right, we'll get two ready for training. Smoke clouds. Oh, my God. What is going on? We observed a large fire in the distance, Chief. We are unfortunately familiar with this situation, though severely diminished. Our species is still the main cause of these fires. Stay indoors, avoid exposure, and keep a lookout. Uh, we're fine as long as we don't get burnt. Indefinite time. Uh, no free time allocation. Joint lookout for fire threats. Minus 45 workforce for all classes. Fires are brought under control before they occur. Plus 9 morale to all classes. Morale's good, but the workforce isn't. Uh, I, we're going to have to go with the protective restrictions, I think. I'm not happy about it. But we have a merchant. Let's see if we can get something good here. Bronze ingots. Yes. Right, we need a few of those. So how much is this going to cost us? Demand value. we got some paper to give. Let's try 25. See if we can get this one down. Uh, although it's the tools that we kind of need to sell. We don't blink and have any. We've got some meat we can give. Uh, we might need to reduce this down. We can't afford that. Okay, let's go with like 10. I can give plenty of paper, to be fair. Not all of it. That'd be great. We got loads of paper, actually. No, I can give quite a bit. Let's do that. Let's not give the uh, not give the meat away so much, and maybe not the tools. I know they're worth quite a bit, but I reckon we could get more ingots here. Yeah, I'm willing to give up those, because we do need them, and I can switch the workers across. But let's just change this until demand value kind of levels. There we go. I reckon I could take a couple of these off. There we go. Perfect. The exact. So we got 14 more. That'll have to do for now, because we're going to spend those straight away, unfortunately. But we really, really need to get on top of all this. Oh, my God. I didn't quite realize how many disasters were going to come. It's scary. All right, we're out of, uh, out of mushrooms there. So let's get that turned off. And it says, obviously, these guys are inside. Maybe are we full on fish? We're full on fish. In that case, let's flip this to fish for now. And then what we'll do is say in the store let's ramp this up we got plenty of space for it get that one going didn't quite realize we do put fish up here then let's maybe put that there if i can see what's going on uh minus 80 on power as well are these okay oh god kind of stressful guys i won't lie to you we need a road coming down the back of this i'm gonna go ahead and get of them here because the wind power is really good over here and then i should be able to bring the road around this the lightning strike will be gone shortly though which is good and then i'm not sure how long this takes so we just need to kind of wait for the fire to disappear labor theft has been done though so we can get rid of those for now we don't want to be tormented like this again even if we don't have the power or the weapons to fight back today at least they'll stop nicking all my stuff now so we should see vegetables increase now um, I'm just looking here to see if there's anything we can flip over. But meat, yeah, meat's kind of dipping a bit. Mushrooms are still really good. We're getting loads of those. And fish is good as well. I think I'm going to go ahead and get another another soup kitchen in. And we're going to pop it there. And what this is going to do is, is kind of help us. And it looks like our log production has now leveled as well. So I might get you. And then what we'll do is say no to the woodcutters over here. I'm really happy with water now. That that deep water pump is incredible. I think that's like game changed me. What we got here? Let's take uh, the wood out of you because we've got a good amount there. What do we have here? I think our workforce needs to go in here to actually have some kind of efficiency on these as well. So we actually need to balance it. It's actually crazy how much uh, balancing you really need to do. Some good news though is we do have some houses that are kind of covered. If I go into these guys should help housing yeah it gives a good boost to that so i'm going to go ahead and upgrade another one 
And I think the forest fire has now disappeared as well. So tools are our next issue. Oh my god. What is going on? Right, it's back. It's back. It looks like we are... Oh my god, we're out of labor. Uh, out of wood. Let's, let's ramp that up. Let's get a bit of a surplus going here. That was my problem. Okay. We'll get these tools back up and we should be alright. Alright, a guest. God, man. This game. <laughs> it's got so much going on. Greetings. We're known as HR and we're here on business. If you're interested... What sort of business, you ask? Why? That people, are, that of people, of course. Afterwards, we deliver these people to those who cover their debts. As simple as that. I have a nice crowd of 13 people I can present you with. All right, you'll get prices for 13 people. Stop talking crap. Tell me what you want for their freedom. We will learn the price we must pay to bring these people into our community as free individuals. Uh, likely never see them again. This is awful, but tell me more. <laughs> Stop talking. Wait, right, we need to know the price. I'm not. Right, 450 basic tools. And we'll get 13 people. All right, we're about to uh, have a lot of tools disappearing then. What I might do is flip this one over to tools then. Let's get let's get that going. Let's just hammer this, this one out and get rid of that because there's going to be a low supply otherwise. And then bronze ingots. How are we looking here? So due to inefficiency. Oh yeah, we need to train. Let's start training. Not enough base. Oh God, we're waiting on tools constantly. Here comes the winter as well. I am going to slow it down though, guys, and that is going to be where I end this one out. There's a lot going on, but we really are starting to ramp up the upgrades now, which is really nice. Hopefully, we can get these people in and uh, I can get some more housing estates done. So I'm going to have to build some down here and go from there. As always, guys, please do smash that thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, do consider subscribing as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.